the Egan shower and hose kit. In it, you will get all the hoses that you need to connect your tap, your external pickup and your shower head. And you also get the quick connectors with it. The first one is the shower hose connector. So what you get is a shower hose with a stop button in it. So when you're showering, you can actually choose from different settings. These are quite efficient. So they don't allow for a great water flow, but uh, they got very fine pointy water jets coming out. So they clean very well. So when you have a shower, you just get some water over you. You can stop straight away. The pumps have got an inbuilt pressure switch. So they will run, build up pressure, and then they stop. They'll only start to run again. When you open the valve and the water starts to flow out, then the pump will kick back in. So you don't have to constantly go back to your water hub and turn it on and off. The pumps will turn on and off automatically. And the only thing you need to do to connect this to your water hub is to use this connector with a bit of plumber's tape screw it into the shower outlet and these are self-sealing so as soon as nothing's connected to that no water can flow out you can now have the shower hose in your equipment as soon as you want to have a shower all you need to do is you turn the switch on you plug the shower hose in you can have a shower you're done i highly recommend to turn the pump off first then release the pressure then you can take the hose off. And that's all the plumbing that you need to connect your shower hose. Now for your drink water hose, it's almost the same thing. This is the drink water hose. It has got the same connector on it. These are Nitto connectors, very high quality. They're usually made for air tools. This has got a great feature that you can use it like that. Just press it, hold it, water will flow out. So just in case you want to wash something, you want to fill up a bottle. And if you need water flow for a longer period of time, you just do that and it now flows freely. As soon as you close it again, pressure will start to build up and the pump will automatically cut out. Same thing here, a bit of plumber's tape around the thread and you just screw it into the water hub housing and you can connect and disconnect your tap, your drink water outlet to fill up water bottles. Another great idea if you want filtered water is to buy another hose and actually plug an inline water filter in between so you can constantly filter the water that comes out of the water hub. Or you can use any other filtration system and just put it in line with your tap water outlet. The last hose that is in the hose kit is the external pickup. So there's a little mesh filter here. We've got the same fitting on here as well. And on the back of the water hub, the tank and the EXT are the two different inputs that that unit has. So EXT means external pickup. You'd put a bit of plumber's tape around this fitting as well. You screw it in. And now if you find some drink water, you got some canisters, you got a bucket of water, all you need to do is plug the external pickup in, drop it, drop this hose into your canister or bucket, and then you turn the switch on for the external pump, which has got the green background illumination. You start sucking water through here. Now you won't get any water out of your tap outlet because this is contaminated water and the one-way valve will protect your tap, your drink water circuit from being contaminated. Water will now only come out of the shower circuit and it will still pump through the water heater so you still have heated water. The other connections that you've got on the water hub here, you can use garden hose, you can use John Guest push fittings, you just screw in an adapter that fits the type of hose or pipe you're using and this can be plumbed directly to the water tank, your drink water source. While here, the hot water in 
means this is the supply to the hot water system where the pump will pump water into the hot water system and the hot water out is the return from the hot water system into the unit and to the mixing valve. Same thing, you just use the right adapters for the type of hose or pipe that you're using and you just plumb that to your hot water system and these are the only extra hoses that you need for the whole installation of the water hub. So the only thing that's left to do for you after this is to run the cable through one of the holes that you find on either end of the water hub to the outside of the water hub and after that you put the cover back on in the orientation that you like it to be sitting on put the screws back in at the end and enjoy hot water drink water clean up water in a very easily and managed way out of your Egan water hub.